can we escape the obvious truth that there is a god? Well, maybe if the video made any kind of sense, it might be more of a challenge, but of course, that would mean they'd actually have to have some kind of valid case. We all know that's not true. So let's watch this farce completely fail. Because why the hell not? Today, it's not my fault. It really isn't. You can blame your nightmare for this video and all of the stupidity that comes from it. It's another one of Canadian Catholics' disasters, and here, he clearly doesn't have the slightest clue what the hell he's talking about, and neither will you. I'll try to explain along the way, but I don't think it's really going to help. This is just religious nonsense turned up to 11. So hold on tight. And away we go. Take the principle of sufficient reason, or PSR for short. It stipulates that all contingent facts have an explanation. It has long been recognized that once we apply the PSR to all the contingent facts taken as a whole, we're left with one answer, that they are explained by a necessary being. Okay. Let me ask you this before we really get going. Why in the hell is he talking in a monotone? Can't you read with any kind of inflection in your voice? Okay, never mind. It doesn't really matter. It was just something I thought of as I was listening to him say that. So, let's get on to what he read, because obviously he's just reading something. Now, and I'm sure that Canadian Catholic doesn't know this, but the PSR predates Christianity by a fair margin. And before anybody asks, the PSR means the principle of sufficient reason, which says that necessarily every contingent true proposition must have an explanation. The farthest back that we can trace it, I think, is Anaximander, who lived before Socrates. Anaximander argued that the Earth remains stationary in space because it is indifferent between motions in any direction. Now, of course, he was wrong, we know that now, but a lot of these ideas turn out to be completely wrong when science actually gets involved. We can also look at Parmenides and Archimedes, who both used PSR arguments long before anyone had any idea who the hell Jesus was. So, I'm going to head Canadian Catholic off at the pass before he claims this was, or is, an inherently Christian argument. Because, as is no surprise, he has no clue whatsoever what the hell he's talking about. To avoid this, critics challenge the PSR, but our findings suggest that this only leads to further problems. Plausible weaker versions of the PSR all seem to lead to a necessary being. Yeah, citation needed. Because this, like every other Christian claim, is just yanked right out of someone's ass. It's just stapling, therefore God, onto an unjustifiable claim. If you can't prove God done it, then you can't just assert that God was responsible. And of course, Canadian Catholic here, apparently going for the apologist with the least amount of personality possible award, he believes things for no good demonstrable reason. Why? Because he just doesn't care, does he? We knew that going in. Now, I'm assuming that he just ripped this off of a website somewhere or out of a book. I don't really know because a quick search didn't turn up these precise words. That seems to be his style. He's not very original on his own. So, here are my questions. What findings? Where are they? And how have they been objectively evaluated? Because these are questions that need to be answered, and I don't think that CC has thought that far ahead. Or at all. Or ever. But let's let him get farther in and see how he fares. Consider the weaker PSR that says that all contingent facts possibly have an explanation. As shown by Gale and Proust, this version also leads to a necessary being. 
Yeah, uh, prove it. Now, I've already looked at some of Alexander Proust's work, and I, for one, am not remotely impressed. Now, granted, I haven't gone out and researched Richard Gale, so I can't know for sure if he stands up to any kind of critical scrutiny, but I wouldn't be holding my breath. In fact, there is a joint gale Proust redefinition of the cosmological argument that I think I'm going to pull apart coming up sooner or later whenever I get around to it, so keep an eye out for that. Essentially, so far his argument has been, people who are saying things that I like said so, therefore it's true. And that is utterly pathetic. It's argumentation by assertion. Consider a restricted version, which says that even if there are some contingent facts that could not possibly have an explanation, those contingent facts that could actually have an explanation, this is the restricted PSR. Unfortunately for critics, it has also been shown to lead to a necessary being. See, this is the problem with just reading things without context. I mean, clearly he's quoting something that Proust wrote somewhere. He does provide some links in the description, but everything is just being yanked completely out of context here. None of this makes any kind of rational sense, which I guess isn't exactly a surprise considering it's Canadian Catholic doing it. But this is really where all of it falls completely apart. It's what happens when you start with an unassailable conclusion, reach for emotional reasons, and then backpedaling and looking for explanations that you like that happen to fit your beliefs. And that's all that any of these people are ever doing. They're just demanding that they're right because they want to be right without ever stopping and providing objectively verifiable evidence that they're anywhere close. And this is all ridiculously sad. Consider what I call a weakish version of the PSR. All contingent facts possibly have at least a partial explanation. Once again, when we apply the anti-circularity principle, it leads to the existence of, you guessed it, a necessary being. Except it doesn't. Now, at this point, I figure I'm losing people because there is absolutely zero context and zero sense in anything that Canadian Catholic is saying. I can hear you now. What else is new, right? Okay, I agree. I agree. Sorry. So I'm going to help out and go looking at the PSR argument, which Proust just came up with his version in the last 20 years or so. In it, he asserts, blindly, as if that's any surprise, that any claim that anything is real, instead of being unreal, requires an explanation of some sort. Now, we might not know what that explanation is, which is why CC is going on and on and on in this ridiculous, dreadful monotone, saying that some things have explanations and some things do not, but at absolutely no point can this argument ever lead to a necessary being. A necessary explanation? Maybe. Maybe. Although, that's still begging the question. But a being? No, never. It will never do that. Because that's just another bald assertion, shoved in there by the religious who are desperately trying to get to, therefore, God. In fact, if you look at Proust himself, he specifically says that anyone who opposes the BSR, they must be operating from a desire to deny the existence of God, specifically his God. And this is utterly childish. It's the equivalent of saying, well, if you don't agree with me, you're just a mean poopy head. This is the level of intelligence that we're dealing with here. As I said before, not remotely impressed. Consider the idea that all existential facts, facts that are concrete with causal powers, possibly have an explanation. Using the anti-circularity principle, we are led to the idea that they are possibly explained by a necessary being. Possibly. Not definitely, not demonstrably. Possibly. So, all in all, this gets them absolutely nowhere. This is just wishful thinking, baking confirmation bias into the mix. If you could get anywhere remotely close to a necessary being, and remember, they can't, but we can play along for a second, but even if they could, that doesn't get them anywhere close to their own preferred being. 
it doesn't get them to Christianity or any other specific religion. Therefore, it's a complete waste of time. It is, however, the best that they can do, and as we all know, philosophy is absolutely the wrong tool for the job that they are desperately trying to do. Because the right tool for the job, the only tool that could possibly lead to demonstrable reality in this case, that tool tells them that they're all full of shit. They have nothing better, and they can't just admit defeat like a rational, intelligent person would. Because these are not intelligent, rational people. These are people on a mission from God, and that mission has nothing at all to do with the truth because they couldn't care less. How sad is that? As shown by our own Joe Schmidt, using S5 modal logic or the Brower axiom once again leads us to the actual existence of a necessary being. So long as we rely on people who are all using the same absurd ideas in the same ridiculous ways without caring if any of it is actually true, then, sure, we come to the same conclusions. Thanks, Mr. Monotone. That clears everything up. So just to recap, if you want to deny the first premise of these contingency arguments, you would have to deny that all contingent facts have an explanation, that they could possibly have an explanation, that the ones that could have an explanation do have an explanation, that they possibly have at least a partial explanation, or that the existential facts possibly have an explanation. Or that you're completely full of shit. Vote below which one you think it is. We're gonna have a poll. This is really where he demonstrates that he hasn't got a clue how the hell to make videos, as if that's any sort of surprise. This is just throwing words at the screen and hoping that somebody out there can make some kind of sense out of them. Because Canadian Catholic doesn't actually understand any of the things that he's saying. It's just something he ripped off of a website or out of a book, and he thinks it makes him look smart. And he's wrong very wrong. And this is why I don't debate theists who either argue by assertion or by reference. They want to have you go fight an opponent that isn't even there while they watch on. Nope, sorry, if you can't demonstrate a functional understanding of the subject matter at hand, such that you can fight your own battles, I've got no interest whatsoever. Come on back when you actually have a clue what it is you're saying and can argue in your own words. Go right ahead. It'll only guarantee that I'll never see you losers ever again. And if you have to deny all that just to ward off the obvious, good luck with your life. Oh, right. Yeah, let's throw in a childish insult at the end to cap it all off. It's hard to imagine a worse showing, and I want to thank your nightmare for pointing this one out. This is just sad, and it's only because we know that Canadian Catholic is doing it that it stands out so much. Blatant incompetence, not explaining anything to anyone because he doesn't know what the hell he's talking about, reading out of the middle of an article with no context offered at all, and then essentially saying, well, if you don't agree with me, you're just wrong, so there. This is just more of his Christian absurdity on clear display. It's really all he can do, isn't it? If you enjoyed this video, or even if you did not, click that subscribe button, turn on notifications, and leave me a like. And why in the world should anyone do that if they hated the stupid crap that you do? This is just, fuck you, fuck you, and fuck you some more. This is, don't subscribe, downvote your crap, and just laugh at how terrible everything about this video is. What a dumbass. Anyway, what do you think? Recently, I've been seeing a lot of theists that are absolutely embarrassing themselves every time they open their mouths. It doesn't matter how slowly and simply we try to explain what they're doing wrong, and they're doing an awful lot wrong, but they don't seem capable of comprehending it. These are not bright people. These are people so far out in the weeds that I don't think they can see reality from where they are. They've got God on the brain, and all the bleach in the world won't get it out. This is why it's so difficult to have intelligent conversations with people like Canadian Catholic, because he's got his conclusion surgically welded to his brain, and there's no chance whatsoever that we can change his mind. And if you notice, 
This is happening a lot lately. But I've seen an increasing number of Christians say there is absolutely nothing ever in any way, shape, or form that can ever change their mind. They can never stop believing in God, so there. It's not just Ken Ham. Lots of these fuckers are just delusional assholes. And that's not a surprise either. Why? Because I don't think these people are actually using their minds in the first place. And that's kind of pathetic. No, it's very pathetic. I was wrong. But really, what can you expect? Anyhow, if you see your nightmare lurking around in the comments, please say thank you for coming across this gem of putrid crap. And if you have any other videos for me that you'd like me to take a look at, be sure to send them along with the direct link. Must have that link. The contact information is down in the description or at the end of every video. So anyway, until next time, take care and stay sane. Otherwise, you might end up like Canadian Catholic. We can't have that. Boom, <laughs>